Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a fun little video just kind of playing around, just to kind of show you what the duplicate distance, or duplicate, uh, when you make a control D with a duplicate. So we're gonna make a line, and we're gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. It always rotates from the center so we don't have to do anything. We're gonna control, let's make this line 12 inches. We're gonna control D, and we're gonna make the second line 15 inches. And we're, we're gonna rotate it five degrees. Now I'm gonna control D again, and if you watch that, every time you control D it, and I shouldn't have moved, let me back up and start over so you can kind of see what's going on. So we're gonna rotate that five degrees and then control D, control D. Look at the lines are getting progressively longer because we made the first duplicate longer, so we're gonna, it just keeps getting longer and longer and longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. So now you have a pretty weird shape and you can play around with this. Uh, you could, you know, put everything you want you could make the line, I'm, I'm still working with somebody else's file. A little bit thicker Let's make it three. Well, it's so big, let's make it 10. Just make them a little bit thicker. I mean, look at that, that's a pretty cool design. Maybe not as cool, but if we group these together, control G, <clears throat> then you can do a lot with it. You can hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror it the other way, or you could mirror it up and down, almost the same thing, it is the same thing. But then you could take all kinds of things like the twirl tool, make it quite a bit bigger with the item checked. And this is pretty neat about the twirl tool. It will only twirl stuff that's inside the circle. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it 80 inches and get right pretty much in the center and then twirl it. If you look, well, I shouldn't have had the other copy there. Let me delete that. Let me just do one twirl at a time. Try to get pretty close to the center. So the lines that are out here past the twirl tool are not gonna twirl. Only the lines that are inside the twirl tool twirl. You can make all kinds of fun stuff with this. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. I mean, look at that design right there. And you could always use this by taking the virtual segment delete key and delete, whoop, I got too close. You could just delete all these other lines and then you would have that inner, let me back up here and zoom in a little bit. So anything the virtual segment delete key hits is gonna delete. So if we go right up here, we'll delete that one and that one, get rid of the close ones and go through here and delete these. I mean, you've got a really weird looking spade. Anyway, just playing around. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.